four projects that AMP is developing on the Ohio River are all being developed at existing dams previously built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. This minimizes the impact on the environment as the dam is already there and we're not changing any of the pool elevations, thereby adding power facilities to provide renewable resource for generations to come with very small environmental impacts. This hydropower plant is a ball turbine and it works as from a run of the river so it's a low head. Basically the water is going to come around the bulb which houses a stator and a rotor. It's going to go around that, it's going to go through the wicket gates and then it's going to hit the runner blades. The runner blades spin in turning the shaft which turns the rotor and therefore generates power. There's no wasted energy with these projects. There's no leftover waste from these projects. It's basically water starting in West Virginia on the Ohio River and flowing all the way to the Mississippi and generating power to the communities that have bought into these projects. Hydro is so attractive to the city because it is a renewable energy which is part of our one of our strategic objectives is to be uh, a green renewable uh, energy supplier. Also, it is the most prevalent uh, renewable energy source that is being utilized today, and it is also the most dependable of all the renewables that are out there. There's great potential for hydropower in the Midwest. There are over 100 sites, which represents about two-thirds of the available sites in the U.S. that can be developed at, at facilities just like this. These are not short-term investments, these are long-term investments, and we're thinking about our grandchildren and their children and their grandchildren. As an environmentalist person, you are giving something back that doesn't pollute. It's clean, uh, the construction on a hydroelectric project is clean construction, it's recyclable, and it's a very satisfying uh, career to know that you're part of that. Mm -hmm.